Okay, there. Oh goodness, let me get some light. <laughs> yeah, let, let, light let, let there be light. Excuse me. <laughs> Hello there. Hello. You got the Tupac shirt on and everything. Oh yeah, um, yeah. This is my going to bed. For the bit. Okay, so how are you? I'm fine. How is it going? I'm enjoying the show. <laughs> So what are we going to talk about? The two-thirds are we going to talk about the dating cost? What is it? The dating. Okay. That's, that's been real fun. All right. So you're unmarried? No, I'm, any, I'm not. Yes. Any, ch any children? No children. Okay. So what do you want as far as outcome? Of, what's the outcome you want of the relationship? The outcome will be to build... Um, to build this dynasty, well, dating for survival. That's what you had said. I like that that information. Mm -hmm. Dating for survival. Do you want to be married? I, I don't. I don't. Okay. Um. Then, why? It's it's been a it's the definition of it that gets me not willing not wanting to i've been engaged twice already the last one he passed away um unfortunately he committed suicide so with that it's just like i got close twice and now what's like, the definition of being married the well well i only know the church version which is my grandmother and my mother which they both were married well my grandma was married like three times so there's no definition but she tells me now that the definition is to be a wife and have kids that's the only thing is really to have kids she wants me to have kids but what I'm, I'm asking if you want to be married you say no and you said no it's because of the definition and you haven't told me what's wrong with it church religion the religion way is the which religion we grew up pentecostal so okay. it was more pentecostal christian i guess you can say uh, every continent on this planet practices marriage right Many different religions practice marriage. Yes. So that can't be the overarching reason. I don't know any successful ones, really. That's probably that's like another reason why. I don't no, that's because of y'all. It's because of women. You know what the number one cause for divorce is? Women filing the papers. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Men don't really men don't leave in general. Y'all do. But the first thing you said you wanted to do was build. Yes. Okay, then how do you build anything without a foundation? Well, that's what the man will bring to the table, I believe. Mm hmm Uh you familiar you got Tupac on your shirt, right? Yes. You are you familiar with Rapid DMX? I have. Um not really. Actually, no, not really. I was You know who you've heard of him though. Yes, I have heard of him. DMX was with his uh, spiritual partner, building for 13 plus years. And then when he died suddenly, she got nothing. All the building. See, far too often in the black community, we always talk about this bill shit, and it's just a house of cards. Because we don't do stuff the right way. And when I ask you about marriage, all I've heard is about what your grandmama and possibly say it was negative and at 35 you can't tell me nothing about it except I don't like it but you can't tell me not to think about it I stand correct I'm just saying you, I mean it's, it's an exchange of ideas you can't tell me nothing about it so if, mar so if marriage means little to nothing why did the LGBT community fight so hard to get recognized? Because they had civil unions. They had all the things common law married people could have. They just had a few things that they couldn't have. Why did they fight so hard to get it if it didn't matter? It matters. It, 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 you're right. That is a, that's, a good, that's a good analogy. I like it. Um, that's a good <laughs> getting my brain working. Is it because of the way that the United States pretty much idolize it as being, you know, needed? 
I think you should find out before you say you don't want it. You live in the United States. I mean, you live here, so you say you don't want to do it because of what? And you don't even know what you're, talking, or what you're saying is against. That's, that's right. So my que my question is this: Do you care if you marry a black? Do you care if you're with a black man, white man, Hispanic? Do you care? <laughs> um, no. All right. I've dated. But what man would you want to build with? A black man. Then why are you know why we can't build nothing? Because our William, because our women in outright open rebellion against any structure. This call has been good, a good, just a good understanding of why we can't build anything. Because when men are calling for order, structure, and discipline, our women are calling for free spirit and chaos based in nothing other than ignorance and feelings. But we can look at every other group and they build from a, how do you build a country? You build a country from a community. How do you build a community? A community is a group of what? Individuals, but it's also more, it's a group of what? A group of, and men, men and, and, and the fundamental unit of a community is what? Oh, men. No, the fundamental unit of a community is a family. Oh, right. Oh, goodness. Oh, goodness. I. You got a bunch of individuals. So how do you build by yourself? What's the, high, what's the largest structure you can build alone? John a blank. So I'll go back again. Why don't you want to be married? And I want you guys to understand that if we have our women in open rebellion to structure, discipline, and foundation, how do we build anything? Because this is a free country. Can't nobody make you do nothing that you don't want to. So if a black man wants to build, and the building blocks start with, uh, he wants to build a, a, build a nation, build a community, build a neighborhood, build a family, he needs to skip over you and go to the white woman because she understands how to do that. Because she was raised learning the value of it. Right? He needs to skip over you. Well, you don't want it. They do. White women, Hispanic women, Middle Eastern women, Asian women, they all want this. They, 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 they're, all, they're okay with the foundation, the structure, and the meeting. That's so they need to skip over you. Why not? Why should they, why should they go here and teach you? Why should not... Why should they skip over you and get to the women who are already ready to do the job? Ready to work for, for duty, sir? Why should... Because, why of, should... The, because of the outcome of the, the foundation of it is, I mean, as far as the kids and whatnot, we... You they, should, they, should pick, they should pick you based upon what? Race? No, 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 no. Just the, just the structure of the, the kids from a black and black no, no, no. There is no structure. If, I mean, what structure does a woman who wants no doesn't want marriage? Okay. You can't. You have, you're under no discipline, no structure, no foundation. So that means having a child with you would be making a chaotic child. So what I'm saying is, a black man who wants some structure, foundation, discipline, a, a family, a community, a nation, needs to skip over women who don't want those things. So why should he not? Why should he go to? Why should he not go to the non-black women who already know these things and want them and are ready for the job to get with women who share your reflection who don't want it? Because I well, now that you put it that way, me thinking about it just a little bit, um, the the other race don't. It's like it's 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 still learning for them as well for culturally wise the culture difference. So it'd be for me to be the same difference in helping. No, it's not. Teaching no, it's me not. how to be. No, it's not. No, no. Teaching you how to be under discipline is not teaching another woman how to be under culture. White women can make macaroni and cheese and collard greens <laughs> it's fine. Yeah, that's what you see. This is why this is a good conversation because black women, you become such independent.
that you know real good to a man who wants to build anything. And the ultimate sales pitch to black men is marry us in our free range, wild state because we are black and then break us and train us. Ain't my job to break you and train you. I want to get somebody who's already ready to go and I'll teach her how to season the mashed potatoes and the greens. <laughs> I, I, Lowry's, onion salt, garlic salt, salt, pepper. Ain't hard to teach them how to do it. White girls already rushed, going to Dr. Miami getting BBLs, doing it better than y'all. They're running over here waiting for the men and y'all sitting back. So if you don't get with us, who do you get with? You're going to go over to the white guy, Hispanic guy, Middle Eastern, Asian? They ain't, they ain't accepting free range wild women. They're not, they're, not, they're not expecting wild, unbroken women. They don't do that. Do they? Do you know any group of men who, who accept free-range wild women? Not a, not a group, but as far as... No, not a we don't, group. We're not worried about individuals, then. We're talking about the group. So you can't build it. You can't build. So this all started back to we can't have nothing because y'all y'all want to be free. You're free. That's cool. You're free to buy a dog and die alone. But what you can't do is when a black man goes past you and gets with a Latina because he wants to build a family, you got to say, good job, brother. You got to smile at that man and say, I'm glad to see you happy, brother. Sure, I mean, sure. I mean, no, no, no. You got, and you got to legitimately mean it. Yes. Yeah, we don't see that this day. Yeah. When a black, man, when a black man gets with somebody who's not black, black woman are the first one to throw stones at him. Because he should be with a black woman. But y'all don't want to be there. My mom, she married, uh, after me, she was married to an Italian. So okay, I, don't good. See, I don't see that at all. And then after that, he was brought a melon, you know, so, you know, another one. So it's just, okay. you know, we, I don't see that. I congratulate whoever makes you happy. That good. Okay. Oh, so how, so if you never get with anybody, never get married, what do you do for a living? For me? Oh, I am an entrepreneur so i have my own businesses um one is real estate investment and the other one is um, yes <laughs> and um <laughs> and the other one i my other hobby is um body work so i do body sculpting and yeah okay let's get to the end between the age of 65 and 85 when you cannot work another day in your life nobody will hire you you cannot work you cannot work you cannot work no other job. You cannot work. And you live between 65 and 85. Are you going to have your $2.4 million to retire on? Cash. Age 65. Nope. 65. Nope. I've, I've been doing a lot of... No, no, no. That's a, that's a, that's a yes. No, that's a yes or a no. <laughs> no. Ma'am. Uh, no. Okay, no. As of now. So what are you going to do? So if you don't have a husband and you don't have a family, who's going to take care of you when your money runs out and you can no longer work? You mean a man? No, I'm asking you. Yeah. A man. No, 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 oh. man. It's, no, no. You're not getting married. No children. 65 years old. When you run out of money, who's going to take care of your age itself? When your money's gone, and you can't work another day, who's going to take care of you? Hopefully one of my siblings. But no, I, no one. No one. So what does that mean? So if no one's going to take care of you, what does that mean? Where are you going to be? Um, let me finish my five-blood language book. and I will No, 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 no. Where, no, no. Where are you going to be? No, no. We're going, we're going down your path. I have my idea, but we're going down your path. Okay. You're a real estate body sculptor. Fine. Where are you going to be at 65 with no husband, no foundation, no nothing, no kids? Where are you going to be when your money runs out? Nobody's taking care of you. What does that mean? Where, where does that end? Um, by myself. Where? In a home by myself. No, no, no. Homes require money. Homes require money. You have no money. I don't know where I will be homeless. <laughs> yes, yeah, say it again. Say it again. Say it again. Homeless. Say it again. Homeless. Say it again. Like say it like it's real. No. What? Uh, ma'am, yes. ma'am, where do where do men who run out of money and have no family 
end up? Where do they end up? Homeless. Thank you. Same place you're going to end up. Homeless. See, this whole family and husband and kid thing is not a game. It's not an option. See that. Unless you're making enough money to have enough money to retire on and live the rest of your life. Talking about you're going to be in a home. They don't give free utilities. They don't give free food. Metal end of life care is far more expensive. Elderly women cost the most on the planet. And this is what I ultimately do this show for, to crystallize the young black women to realize y'all are playing and life ain't playing with you. You got the street to look forward to. We won't have social security. We won't have social security. There are no, there are no government shelters for aged women. The West is not set up for elderly singles. And if you want to catch a clue, Go look on what's going on in California right now. Tent cities are popping up, and you know who's populating most of these? Women. And you know something? And nothing more nothing more vulnerable than an elderly, homeless woman. You can't keep nothing. If you have this and you on the street and I want it, how you gonna keep it? If you have this and I want it, or somebody want it, how you gonna keep it? What you gonna do? Call the police? How you gonna do that? Pigeons? You ain't got no cell phone. What you gonna do? Everything you, everything you have, somebody else, bigger, stronger, want it. You're too weak to stand out there by yourself. This ain't a game, ladies. <clears throat> but every other group of women seems to have had this clue, and our women seem to think that you can just go through life being, no disrespect, real estate and body sculptors and entrepreneurs and la, 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 la. And you're making, and 74% of black women make $50,000 or less. 9% of black women make more than $75,000. Are you in the 9%? Yes. Are you? Okay. I'm in and Los Angeles right now as well, so I, I see it. In Los Angeles, if you're in $75,000, a slice of pizza, a Coca-Cola is $15 in Los Angeles. <laughs> but this is where all these artsy, th this is what I mean. Y'all and I'm pescatarian, so I eat. Everything is fresh. Um, I go to market every two, three days. Things of that matter. So yeah, I, I understand. I I understand. I, I understand you. You don't understand. I've totally been taking in your information from since um, May. You know, since I found you in May. So I totally understand how it's not a game. I've been dating intentionally. So you know that part. Well, not even dating. Actually, I'm not. I haven't been dating, but you know. Um, keeping my options open. <laughs> we're, we're, you're 35, right? Yes. So you're about to cross into what I call no man's land. When we were cut free from chattel slavery, there was no real plan to integrate us into the country. We still managed to stay together, in large part due to segregation. But after segregation, the civil rights movement in the 60s, when the Great Society offered black women government subsidy, your grandmothers and mothers chose to take paltry benefits over a black man. And until black women address that original sin and come back to your men, because ain't no other group of men coming to you. Just like white women, was, black women were surprised when white women voted for Donald Trump after the pussy grabbing scandal, because <laughs> every other group of women know that you got to stick for your man. Every other group of men realize that if we got three kids, we got to invest the money in the boy, not the girl. But in our community, boys are at the bottom. And our women, due respect, are running around out here at, in your marrying and breeding and marrying and, and dating years, doing, being an entrepreneur. Instead of realizing, I, I don't have high income skills, I need a man. So when I ask you, do you want to get married? Oh, the structure. You, you like the structure of the concrete better? No. What I need people to understand is whatever your fear is, your greater fear should be dying on the street. Okay, right. Damn. And that day will be a lucky day. Because that's the day the misery will be over. That'll be a good day. The day before you die is the last, is the last bad day. You know, have you ever seen elderly people on the street, high blood pressure, diabetes, infection, no medical insurance? Have you? 
Have you ever been to Skid Row? No. Take a run by Skid Row. Go down by the Los Angeles River. Go check out what people are doing who are really homeless. It's in a goddamn game. Yeah, no, that's that is real life. I I know, I, but at thirty five, you're talking about I eat pescatarian and clean and so, and so forth, and it's like okay, cool. But you need a man and you need a family. That's how this world is set up. Right. It's not set up for individuals, and our community is at the bottom. Our dollar doesn't even circulate eight hours. And like it or not, in this conversation, many black women are going to hear winter is coming because unlike black women, black men have more time in our lives to get it fixed. You don't. Right. After 40. So I'm going to make a suggestion. I need you to really sit back and think about what the fear is. Because the fear that, that most of our women have comes from older black women lying and teaching you guys wrong. Not from your actual lived and learned experiences through a black man. Oftentimes I talk to women and the problems that young women have with black men is the boogeyman that's been put in your head by your mama, your grandmama, your nanny, everybody else. Not what we've actually done to you. Right. And until y'all realize that we're not your enemy, and y'all ain't going to get out of here without being with us. <laughs> and if you don't want to be with him, I'm not going to sit here and tell black men to keep sitting here waiting for black women to get their shit together. If, right. uh, if, if Maria wants to do better by him right. and, and, and Donette don't want to. <laughs> be happy. So, good call. Appreciate it, man. Appreciate you. Thank you. Bye-bye. That was a good call. That was